That's the point. Don't be fooled by these evil, wicked niggas called Israelites. Don't be fooled by that. that, that that's why I scorn when I hear somebody say, you howl, Bosh. As soon as I hear it, I know the spirit of evil is there. So now when we go out and we're teaching you, you must call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, in truth, in spirit and in truth. Go ahead. And I will bless them. So it was a law for the Israelites to use and put the name of Yahweh upon one another. I will bless them. So it was a law for the Israelites to use and put the name of Yahweh upon one another. I've not seen one righteous man use that term. Not one. Yep. Every one of them, evil, malice, guile, yep. gossip. Every last one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Give me Acts 13. I'm going to take it down a notch. I'm going to take it down a notch. I know. I'm gonna Acts 13, 44 and 45. The book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 44. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy. The Jews were filled with what when they saw people following the apostles? Envy. Envy. Go ahead. And spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. Mm. Now we see this. The, we will go over lessons on doctors. marriage. There you go. Go over lessons. Young men come in. Teach me how to be a husband. Teach me how to be a father. And we give you the word of God. And the other Israelites sitting on the side. Mad. Mad. Yo, Ak. I, yo, Ak. Yahar Basham. Yahar Shai. Ak. I'm going to get yo, Ak. And then blaspheme everything that comes out of the scriptures. I'll tell you what's wrong, bro. This has been here for 500 years. <laughs> See? That says, Yahar Wah. Yahar Shai. <laughs> It's a great discovery. Does this mean we gotta go join the bum camp? You've got to be kidding me. Telling young men, no, you don't have to get married. You can have sex with a woman. That's good enough. Why they do that? So that you can have sex with them and leave the woman on the, on the side of the curb. Now, I'm not saying that speaking Hebrew is evil. I'm not saying that at all. In the Greek, in the Latin, in the Hebrew. Ebonic. Watch out for slick talking brothers like that. I am just saying there is a pattern behind that. That's all I'm saying. Because I reckon some brothers use it. I ain't got a problem with it. Because some brothers use it. I ain't got a problem with it. I, I scorn when I hear somebody say, you howl, Bosh. As soon as I hear it, I know the spirit of evil is there. Okay, but come with righteousness. Come with the word of the Most High. That's the point. Don't be fooled by these evil, wicked niggas called Israelites. Don't be fooled by that. That's the point. Don't be fooled by these evil, wicked niggas called Israelites. Don't be fooled by that. That's the point. Don't be fooled by these evil, wicked niggas called Israelites. Don't be fooled by that. There was a scripture that he pulled about the bewitching and the fear that they put on you guys. Right. In the bewitching, they instill fear in you. Because... There's a video that he put where he asked his men to explain what is the hour of temptation. Your brother saw that? Okay. Where he was saying that the hour of temptation is when the microchip is being distributed. There's no scripture that says that in the entire Bible. When you look up the hour, anytime an hour is speaking in the scriptures of something to happen, what does it go into? Who knows? In one hour, it speaks about what? Destruction. Look up everything that speaks about an hour coming. We're in that hour when the destruction is going to happen. We're going to be in temptation, wondering if we're going to be taken or not, based on our righteousness when we are on this earth. But he got his men explaining one by one, because he, he commands them all like zombies to do videos. And his explanation for that hour of temptation that Christ spoke about, where he said that he'll watch over us, is that, that you're going to be Faced with the option of you got to take the chip. <laughs> you see how stupid that is? But because he has those men like zombies and fear, and in fear, they're listening to him. So you're going to have a lot of people that's going to agree to take that microchip. 
and uh, eventually it will become mandatory as we've been saying for years. We here at Great Millstone been saying this since we got on YouTube and even before we got on YouTube. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you something. If you can see it, this is the chip right here. That's the chip. That's the actual chip. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So read it again. To receive a mark. In their right hand or in their foreheads. So read it again. Three Square Market claims to be the first U.S. company to put microchips in its employees, but this technology has already been used in other countries. Earlier this year, more than 100 employees at a Swedish company called Epicenter got microchips implanted in their hands, saying it streamlines office life. And as with most new technologies, it has raised some privacy and security issues. While biologically safe, the data generated by the chips can show how often an employee comes to work or what they buy. Unlike company swipe cards or smartphones, which can generate the same data, a person cannot easily separate themselves from the chip. Using ID badges at work may become a thing of the past, and microchip implants may become the future. So what if I get the chip in my left butt cheek? What happens then? <laughs> they gotta scan my butt. <laughs> Welcome, Detective Nathaniel Ray. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that. Mark my words before your tenure is over. You running around, yep, 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 about some foolish chip stuff? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. That's the point. Don't be fooled by these evil, wicked niggas called Israelites. Don't be fooled by that. That's the point. Don't be fooled by these evil, wicked niggas called Israelites. Don't be fooled by that. That's the point. Don't be fooled by these evil, wicked niggas called Israelites. Don't be fooled by that. So y'all should never, ever be confused anymore concerning the name of God and the name of Christ. Because the name that Christ said was going to be used to deceive the whole world is Jesus Christ. I don't give a damn about your letter, J. Because they didn't use Jesus or ISIS to deceive the world. Are you Jesus Christ? That's madness. So y'all should never, ever be confused anymore concerning the name of God and the name of Christ. Because the name that Christ said was going to be used to deceive the whole world is Jesus Christ. I don't give a damn about your letter, J. Because they didn't use Jesus or ISIS to deceive the world. Are you Jesus Christ? I don't give a damn about your letter, J. Because they didn't use Jesus or ISIS to deceive the world. They use Jesus Christ. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Let me make it simple for him. If you go anywhere around the world and you see that picture of Cesar Bogier, what name come to your mind? Does the name Yahweh Shah come to your mind? If they write Yahweh Shah across the picture, you'll think that the name belongs somewhere else rather than on the picture. But if they put Jesus on it, you say, okay, the, the picture match the name. Because that's the name that they use to destroy everybody. That's what they're bringing up. Now I'm gonna, that's what Christ was telling us. I'm going to finish it off now. Not Jesus. Not Jesus. Not Jesus. Not Jesus. I'm not the real Jesus. As a matter of fact, the fella's name wasn't even Jesus. He had a Hebrew name. 